Hello there, and thank you for joining me today with your Mango Voice tutorial. My name is Tyler, and today we're going to be talking about a specific object in the switchboard known as the day-night mode, or day-night toggle, or just day-night, uh, however you refer to this object. So the first thing we're going to want to do, of course, is log into our website, and then we're going to head to the switchboard. And we're going to enter either of these switchboards. If you have multiple switchboards, you're going to want to enter the switchboard that you will be placing this object in. Now the day-night mode is right up here towards the top, uh, roughly in the middle of the top row of objects. So we're going to click on that object and we're going to put that on the board. Now of course, just like any other object, you have to run the line through this object in order for it to take place. Now what's really cool about this object is it has two different paths. Now calls are going to follow one path based on what you've selected. So currently by default here it says closed. So when it says closed, it's going to follow the when closed line. When it says open, it'll follow the when open line. And you can change it simply by clicking on the word open and closed right here. Alternatively, you can dial star three from your Mango phone to toggle that. Just follow the instructions given to you by the automated assistant when you dial star three. When you dial star three, it will tell you if the button says open or closed before you change it. So it's really easy to change that. And the benefit in this is, for example, let's say you don't have set working hours. You can bring this right down here, and when it says open, we can ring your phones and go to voicemail, and when you're closed, we can just go straight to voicemail. Now it does say when open and when closed, but just think of those as this way and that way. It doesn't have to be open. You can totally reverse these if you wanted to. It just depends on what your needs are. You can use it at the end of the day instead of at the beginning of the day. So if you have a set schedule, you'll be following that schedule. And then at the end of the day, when you're closed, we can have a day-night mode. And we can have that open or closed. And we can have two external transfers. And we can have something like this. Now we'll put our numbers in here, of course. Now, when you're closed, if you have someone on call, for example, we can have this person on call, person A up top, or we can have this person on call, person B here on the bottom. Now, if you have multiple day-night modes, let's say you don't have a schedule still, and you're still using a day-night mode for your schedule when you're open and when you're closed. Your star three here, you're going to want to click on advanced. And you're actually going to change this so you can have star 30 that will adjust your hours so when you're open and closed and then we can have star 31 down here for person A on call or person B on call and you can have up to 10 of these all the way up to star 39 and that's how day night mode works thank you again for joining me today with your mango voice tutorial and if this tutorial helped you today, I would appreciate it if you take a moment to like this video. And if you're interested in more tutorials, consider subscribing to our channel as we are going to be uploading more videos to help you with your Mango system.